Right, Willie, the festival is kind of a big moment of the year for Nice, like it is for everyone else, but he can get quite up and down. And last year, the first day, new one was disappointed as far as he's concerned. And you walked in with him. I remember you coming up to me on the second day saying, I walked in with my fat father today and you should have seen how he's behaving. Just show us how he walked into Cheltenham day two last year. <laughs> Head bowed. Kicking the crap. Hands behind his back. No, I just miserable. Got the hump. Just, he thinks the world's against him, I suppose, doesn't he? And also, I'm never coming to the flipping festival, festival again. No. I hate Cheltenham. He'd rather be at home in the pub watching it, I think. <laughs> I asked him, I said, oh, if we don't have a runner on the Wednesday, what will you be doing? He said, well, I'll watch it from home. <laughs> He's just where he is. And two hours, three hours later, you'd had two winners. Two winners, and he's on top of the world. <laughs> and then he wants to go tomorrow, but it's just the way he is, he'll never change. And this year, you think you've got a right good team going, don't you? Yeah, we've got a good but select team. Usually we'll have a lot of outsiders, but this year we've got some um, very fancy horses in Holstone, the new one. Um, obviously, Flying Angel's got chances, and Bally Andy, we've got a really What's good team. What's the one you would want to be with most? I think Bally Andy's got a massive chance, but... I suppose the three of them, Bally Andy and Holstone are the two main ones, I suppose. But also Foxtail Hills going there in massive form as well. Excellent. Cheers, Willie. Thanks.